Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading for more specific information. And all of those details are in the description box. Also keep in mind that the rules can be reversed. Alright, so let's see what is going on with Aquarius in May. Overall energy. Oh, oh, okay. That like has not happened for any of the other signs. I usually just get two, but we had four that wanted to come out. So yeah, I'm just gonna take them. All right, so we have return. That was the first one out. We have fear, we have observer, and we have abandoned. All right, okay, so that's that's a lot to get just for the overall energy. So definitely there's a lot going on here. I feel like somebody is considering a return or thinking about returning, but there might be some fear that is holding them back. However, this person is observing you from afar, possibly social media if you're on there, or maybe just asking friends about you or just in any other way that they can. And there seems to be an issue here with abandonment. Um, it could be that they feel abandoned by you if you were the one to um, kind of end things. Because I, I mean, just having the return here, that tells me that there is some sort of a separation here, okay? So if you're not in some sort of a separation, then this reading might not be um, for you this time around, okay? Um, it, but it could be also that you're the one feeling abandoned. <clears throat> so we'll see. Let's, um, let me just put these up here and let's get into the tarot. All right. Or it could even be that this person has a fear of rejection and could be the reason why they're not returning or holding back from it, but definitely they're on their minds. Or this could be you. All right, take it as it resonates. Roles can definitely be reversed here. All right, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the first half of May 2021. All right, so for the situation, oh, all right, we have the devil, there's that fear. Um, possibly fear, possibly an attachment, could be anything really. Um, crossed by the Five of Cups. All right, so starting off with a lot of heavy energy. I'm not sure if this is you or if this is the other person. Um, I, I mostly feel like this is the other person, to be honest, but again, take it as it makes sense for you. I feel like this is someone who is feeling stuck, who is um, possibly just having a lot of pessimistic thoughts. Um, it could even be, for some of them or some of you, it could be that there's another um, relationship or commitment involved that is toxic. Um, and it seems like, it feels like there's a lot of grief because of that. There's a lot of grief when it comes to this fear or when it comes to this attachment um, or whatever it is that is toxic. Okay, so there's definitely some really heavy energies here in May. Let's see the recent past. We have the Justice. Near future, we have the Ten of Cups. All right, well, that's positive. Um, definitely there was a decision here. Um, to be made in the past. I'm not sure if it if it was made or if it was just um, in the air with somebody wanting to make a decision. We'll see when we clarify. Um, let's see your energy. We have the Six of Swords for them, the King of Swords for you, the Seven of Swords, more about them is the Knight of Swords. Potential outcome here is the Queen of Pentacles and a message for you is the fool. All right. Um, I feel like you're you're moving forward. You're trying to leave this situation behind. Maybe you already have for some of you, but I feel like there is 
a sense of you having done so reluctantly. Like, it's almost like, yeah, you know, you're moving away from this connection. You're, you're leaving this behind because it was very toxic. Um, there was something that was um, unhealthy in this situation and maybe the decision was never made um, <clears throat> or maybe this is you haven't made that decision to move on okay it could be that as well so you are moving forward you are leaving this conflict or this um, unhealthiness behind old baggage moving towards calmer waters but I, I get the sense that you're kind of looking back Kind of like, I didn't really want to do that, but I felt like I had to. Like, I didn't have another choice, almost. Um, for some of you, it might, it might even feel like you kind of snuck away from this. Um, for them, with the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords, that's a lot of air. In general, we do have... Um, actually, both for your energies and their energies, they're... They're all swords. So it could be that you're dealing with another air sign or somebody who has strong air in their chart. Um, maybe even Capricorn, okay, because we do have the devil, we have Libra out on the table. So, I mean, it, Aries possibly, could be any sign. Um, I see some determination on their end. I feel like they're very clear about how it is that they feel or what it is that they want. They're very clear about something here. They're still very much in their feels, all right, as I said before. Um, and I do feel like there's a lot of restlessness. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm determined. I know what I want. I have clarity on that, but I'm in and out. Like, uh, you know, I feel like this person changes their mind. Like, they go to take action, and then maybe they, they take it back, or they try different things, but they don't go, um, they don't fully go through with it. That's what I'm getting here. Um... I do feel like, I feel like there is going to be movement though, all right? With that Ten of Cups here, at least you are finding some kind of love here, or there is a potential for you to find that love and that fulfillment, all right? Whether it be by this person or by somebody else. And I also see with the Fool here being as the um, message for you that, yeah, you know, it could be something that you don't expect. So it could even be this person, because they do have the determination. The determination is there. It's just I would have preferred to see the um, Knight of Swords first and then having the King of Swords um, in the position that the Knight is in. But, <clears throat> but I do feel like there's going to be something unexpected here that might present itself to you. Um, and I do see some stability here in the potential outcome. I do see you feeling really good about yourself. So really, I mean, that's what matters here. So let's get into it. Let's see. Let me clarify the Devil and the Five of Cups. <clears throat> All right, we have the Six of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Yeah, so there's someone here, I, I do, I really feel like it's the other person here who really wants a reconciliation with you, who is missing you, um, possibly misses talking with you, or <clears throat> this page of swords could even be like that observer card, all right? Really being curious as to what it is that you are up to. I feel like they have a lot of drive to reconnect with you in some way. They want to speak to you. However, they're holding back. Um... And they, like I said, you know, they're holding back because of fear, right? There it is, showing up as the devil, and we also have fear there. Um, a lot of guilt, a lot of grief because of, of the separation or of whatever it is that's going on. I, I feel like it's kind of like... I feel like this is multifaceted. I feel like this grief that they're in, this pessimism, this um, sorrow, it's not only related to the fact that you are not... In communication in the way that you used to I feel like it's also in regards to whatever this devil's energy is which could be for some of them another commitment as I said that's not healthy or just their own their own fears of abandonment or of whatever so let me clarify justice in the in the recent past okay, that's too many 
All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like there was some kind of a decision here to be made. Maybe it was made um, by one of you, but I feel like it was something that maybe dragged out a little bit. It took, it took a bit of time. I feel like this is you, to be honest. I feel like this is you having um, made a decision to move away from this, to leave this behind. And it may have been something that um, took a little bit of time for you to do, but you, I feel like you did get there and this opened up the the path for something new for you um, regardless of whether that is just a way of being or whether that's for another relationship or whatever it doesn't have to be for another relationship i'm not particularly seeing that what i'm seeing is just a new path a new way of being um just a new potential here rather than being in a situation where um well, I just feel like this devil's energy was still there in some in some way. One way or another, it was there. There was just something that was not ideal or balanced. Um, all right, let's see your energy. Let's see the Six of Swords. have the four of wands and we have the nine of cups yes yeah, see so you're moving away from something that you felt was a special bond something that you felt you really wanted like there was just something about this that really fulfilled you on some level and you felt like it could be something really really beautiful like it could be something very fulfilling um, something very pleasurable um, it felt like there was a very strong connection between the two of you and I feel like yeah that would make sense then why you were so reluctant to to move away let me see the seven of swords all right we have the world and the three of wands all right so you know what this is really this is a very interesting energy that you are in because I feel like you're doing a really good job of really finding that balance between moving on, knowing what is good for me, and moving in the direction of what is in my highest good, um, and having closed out the possibility of entertaining anything that is unhealthy, but at the same time still keeping that door open. Still keeping that door open for this person in the case that they are free from that devil, from that devil's energy. Um, <clears throat> so I do feel like there's a part of you that is still kind of, like I said, looking back, kind of still waiting to see if that would happen, even though there's still a closure. So that's, I feel like that's a, it sounds simple, but I feel like it's really not an easy place to get to inside of you and I feel like if you're not there yet that's where you're heading I feel like you're really doing a good job of really finding that balance of you know what yeah <clears throat> I have that door open but at the same time this chapter is done for me like I'm done I'm not going back to something that is not good for me and I can move on from it and I'm not going to obsess about it because you know for some of you it might not even really be under your control right now <clears throat> I mean for some of you maybe you could have this person back with a snap of your fingers and then for others of you it's it's really not up to you at all anyway either way you're still okay with it you've still closed that out from your life but still having that little crack open <clears throat> all right let's see what's going on with them let's see the king of swords All right, the Nine of Wands. Okay, I do want to get at least one more. All right, the Ace of Wands. All right, yeah, so like I said, they're very, they're very clear about what they want, but they feel like what it is that they want is a very, uh, <clears throat> a very big challenge to get to. And what it is that they're clear about, what it is that they want is a coming back, all right, just 
<clears throat> as I said there with the return card that that showed up. Um, this is like a reigniting of that passion or of whatever was there before. They're very clear about that, but they're seeing it as something very difficult to get to. Um, and it's going to be different for each of them, that's why I'm not getting the specifics here. I don't see them giving up though. <clears throat> I don't see them giving up. Let's see the Knight of Swords. They might be in and out, you know, they might be a little, um, what's the word? Just not really consistent about it, but they're not giving up. And if you're in this energy that I explained, well then, you know, you might be a little bit indifferent to that, but then on the other hand, you're kind of not, especially if you're watching this, so. <clears throat> uh, let's see, so Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and Death. Okay, so the Knight of Swords again, all right, that's <laughs> clarifying the Knight of Swords. So yeah, see, they're definitely in and out they're back and forth between the energies of reconciliation and just trying to give up, but they're not. Trying to see if this can be done, if this is over. Can there be that transformation of, you know what, like this is just done, put an end to it. And so there's this back and forth, and the reason why there's this back and forth is because they cannot let it go. All right, like ultimately deep down they want that that reconciliation with you. It's like so strong. I mean, it's like so clear. They're missing you like like crazy. That's right here with that six of cups and, and the five of cups. I'm pretty sure someone else got that too and it was like together, the five and the six of cups. I can't remember which sign it was. I think it was one of the other air signs, but can't be sure. All right. Let's see the Ten of Cups coming up in the near future. All right, we got quite a bit here. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't know what is going on with my throat in your reading. All right, the Tower, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. All right, give me a sec here. <clears throat> there is definitely this potential here for love. And I feel like this, you're gonna be feeling this, all right? There's definitely some love that is coming in. And it could be from somebody else, it could be just within your own self. What I feel mostly that this is, is um, I feel like it's this person, all right? Because we have the five of pentacles attached to this, which is talking about that abandonment. It's, it's, it's kind of similar to this five of cups here. So I feel like they're feeling this loss. They're feeling this nostalgia. They're missing you um, so much that it's creating this huge, huge tower for them. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like this is similar to Libra, actually. Um, which would also um, <laughs> make sense with the with all the swords here. So this is creating a huge tower for them, which I feel is kind of like opening up that door to them thinking about the possible ways, the possible alternatives in order to have this love with you, okay? That's what I feel like this Ten of Cups is actually. It's them opening up to love. It's moving from that devil's energy, whatever that is that is toxic, and moving towards love, away from fear and towards love is what this is. Um, really feeling those feelings that they have, really feeling those emotions, but in a more balanced way than before. But I feel like that's not going to happen until after they have this tower moment, um, which is coming up. It's going to be inevitable. It's going to be inevitable and it's going to come with a lot of um, feelings of 
sorrow and being abandoned and just being alone, just feeling very lonely. Even if they are, you know, in another commitment, it doesn't matter. They can be, they could be married and have a family and still feel lonely, for example. All right. Um, <clears throat> I do also get a sense that they might see this happiness, this Ten of Cups with you, something like a fantasy, something like an illusion. Um, but we do have the Queen of Pentacles as a potential outcome. So let me clarify that. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Yeah. All right. This is definitely in the potential, guys, here. Um, if this was resonating with you, having this... Um, and the Five of Cups showing up again. All right. So it's definitely in the potential here to have this Ten of Cups. All right. But coming to this place of stability, you, you know, sticking to your own agenda here and doing your thing, doing you, you know, keep moving forward in a way where it is um, in alignment with your own self, in alignment with your integrity and with your self-respect. All right. That is going to bring you love. I feel like with this Five of Cups here, it's coming back in to say that, yeah, you know, um, sometimes it's this loss, feeling that loss, feeling that grief that leads us to this place of taking care of ourselves, nurturing ourselves and going after what it is that we want and ultimately then finding that happiness. And I do see the, that as the potential outcome here, even if it does come with some grief, with some sorrow, with some pain okay so i feel like that actually at the moment is applying more to your person i feel like you have already been through that um so again really reminding me of of libra and for the final message that we have here is the fool something i feel like it's going to be unexpected whatever it is that happens here so i'm not even going to clarify that um, but there's definitely something here that i feel is going to feel very new it's going to be um unexpected it's going to feel like a surprise and it it's just i it might even shock you. Who knows? But that's that's how I'm, how I'm seeing that and how I'm feeling that. All right, Aquarius. So if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. Let me know what sign you're dealing with now. I'm, I'm curious to know. All right, and we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I feel like this is 100% your person here. I feel like you've already made the effort to get on your path and you're doing a very great, great job at it. Um, this is what I was saying about your person not giving up. They are making an effort here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I have a feeling you cannot, the way this is playing out. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for you. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching and much love.